Steve, we're here at Emo 2019 in Hanover. I know you've just arrived, so I put you on the spot a bit here. I know, so you might be flagging, but I'm sure when it comes to the technology, you'll be able to give us a really good insight into this new machine. I've not seen many like this. Explain what it is. So we've got the uh, the new JX250. Um, so as you can see behind, is twin twin turret, twin spindle with an ATC head at the at the top. The application that it's actually doing in here is typically the type of work you'd need to be doing to have a machine like this, isn't it? Yeah, so it's a long long shaft machine, so we've got under, uh, 1.8 metres between between the spindle. Um, the head itself is very compact, in fact it's, just, it's the most compact head that we've got on the market. Um, so basically what that enables you to do is the envelope between the spindles and getting the, and the head in at 90 degrees for end working. Which they're illustrating on the demo, which we'll see on the video as well. Um, has it got Y-axis on these bottom, both these bottom turrets? So it's a triple Y-axis machine, so you've got Y-axis on the upper and then a true Y-axis on either turret on, on, on both uh, lower turrets. And what about your milling head then here? Obviously you've got a tool changer somewhere around with yeah, how many tools and how does it all work, the B-axis, the angles? So you've got an ATC head, is what we class it as, automatic tool change. Uh, standard we have 120 tools and then you've got options to move up from, up from that. Um, so it's a full, full, five axis, full five axis head. Is there any machine that you can think of in any of the machines that you sell at ETG that's as versatile as this? I'm looking at, I'm trying to think of what it can't do. There isn't a lot, is there? No, so if you go back to what we've talked about before, the NTRX 300, which is a twin spindle ATC machine, this, this moves on from there, so now you're talking at a machine for, for cost per part. You know, you, we've got lower turrets there to reduce, that, to reduce that cycle time. And how do you go about doing that and programming that? Is there a, something in the software that will help you sort of balance out all these operations? Because there's no point in, you know, if, if, if you don't balance it out correctly, you won't get the benefit, will you? No, so there's features within the, within the control itself. It's got a full 3D model on there that gives you collision guarding, because naturally when you've got all those axes dancing around, you want, it, you want to see it drive into, the, into it before you, the machine does. Yeah, you must be quite excited to have this to sell in the UK market. Have you already sort of got target customers where you think this can really save them time? Yeah, so predominantly customers that we're targeting is the ATC users. Um, especially with people now, with, uh, and our business is mainly project driven, it, it's a natural progression for us to take our customers on to the next level. When, when Nakamura build machines in Japan, they, they don't, they leave no stone unturned, do they? Same sort of quality gone into the build of this as you would expect with a NAC. Yeah, it's a machine that's been in de development for over, over 12 months. Um, the key importance is that they use all the distributors for feedback to develop a machine. Uh, and where is the distributors get feedback from is our customers. So what we're doing here is, is we've created a machine that our customers have asked for.